first cousin marriage will probably be illegal soon in Tennessee, but not without a fight. Yeah, a Republican lawmaker defends cousin marriages today after saying his grandparents were first cousins. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien has more details on the unusual bill. Currently legal for two first cousins to marry in Tennessee, but soon that will likely change. First cousins in the state of Tennessee you, you can't marry first cousins. We're not going to allow that in this day and age. Thursday, the General Assembly passed a bill banning marriage between lineal descendants of a grandparent. Currently, the law only outlaws marriage between just the children of a grandparent. The bill passed unanimously in the Senate and drew support from most Republicans in the House, but not all of them. There's an additional risk, but it's not as significant as some might otherwise be led to believe. Brentwood Republican Representative Gino Bolso filed an amendment to protect cousin marriage if couples see a genetic counselor. Obviously the way he did it, we didn't agree with, and so his amendment failed. One of the first comments that I saw on that video was people saying that they don't want to give LGBTQ people marriage rights, but yet they are fighting over you being able to marry your first cousins. And I think people don't understand why this is so. You know, first of all, let me just say it's sick. To me, marrying your first cousin is disgusting. I love my two first cousins, uh, Chanel and Sandra, but they're, ugh. <laughs> it's just nasty. <laughs> nasty on so many levels. But anyway, the reason why Republicans will fight for this is because their Bible does not outlaw the marriage between first cousins. If you actually go look up all the marriage laws in the Bible, when you're looking in Leviticus, I believe it starts in 18 and you have a little bit in Deuteronomy, some in Ezekiel, some in Chronicles, you know, splattered here and there. It never outlaws the marriage between first cousins. You can't marry your mother. You can't marry your father. There are actually some things that a man can marry. A man can do and a woman can't, but you can't marry your mother. You can't marry your father. You can't marry your siblings. Um, a man can't marry his great his his uh, parents' sibling, but a woman can. This is why Moses' mother is also his great auntie. But it's all kind of little laws like that. You can't marry your step parent. You can't marry a step brother, step sister. But it mostly deals with parent to siblings and grandparents and uncles and aunties. It doesn't say anything about you not being able to marry your cousins. This is why Jacob was able to marry Rachel, who was his first cousin. He was able to marry Leah because that was his first cousin. Um, Abraham breaks the law, though. Abraham marries his half-sister, which is against the laws in, in Leviticus. But as some people will say, Abraham was in Genesis. Those Levitical laws were made later, so it was fine for them to be married. But that's how the Bible goes. The Bible is very concerned about keeping the bloodlines and incest, which is something that is a, that was common in many of many cultures around the world um, in those times and even up into some of the recent, recent times. I think King Charles II of Spain, father was also his grandfather. So you had that mentality that lasted for an incredibly long time but the fact that in today's world you have republicans still fighting they are fighting for marrying your first cousin saying it's not that bad that his grandparents were first cousins that's probably why his mind is so warped like it is that yes there are some risks but the risks are minimal how with all the people in america almost 400 million people. I'm sure you can find someone other than your first cousin. Even in the smallest of towns, you should be able to find somebody other than your first cousin. And of course, they don't want to give LGBTQ people the right to marriage because their Bible says things like um, a man laying with a man as a man laying with a man as he would a woman is an abomination. And that this also goes some against the Levitical laws of men lying with men. But, you know, it never says anything about women lying with women. Not to my recollection. If it is in there, please let me know. But in most cases, I don't think it says anything about women lying with other women. <laughs> because they didn't really care much about the rights of women or to speak on women other than to dominate them constantly. But I just want to know, what do you guys think? 
about Republicans fighting in Tennessee so that they can still marry their first cousins. And y'all have a great day. And remember always, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.